All right, so the first thing we're going to do um, is look at our picture of the lemon, um, the illustration of the lemon that I put on canvas. And um, you'll notice that the thing that is the closest to you or closest to the viewer is the lemon slice. So I want to get that down. Here's my 2H pencil. Remember, I use 2H pencil because it is easier to erase if I don't sketch very um, heavy. And so I'm going to draw the front lemon slice first. And it's kind of like a um, sideways circle. And I noticed that the top part here is higher than this here. So this is down here, this is up here. Okay, and I know that that's super light. Maybe I should switch. You should stay with your. 2H pencil, I'll go to an HB pencil so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just sketching. Okay, it has a little bit of a thickness, so it has a little thickness right here. And then it comes down and kind of meets up again. And the top is pretty much a straight line across both little pieces right there. Except for the middle has this little dip here. It looks kind of like an apple slice right now as it is. So I'm just putting in the shapes, right? And um, figuring those out before I put in all of the details. So I wanna put in also the whole lemon in the background. And um, I notice that it actually comes right here. And it comes, the circle comes right there. And it's a pretty big circle, isn't it? So I'm gonna start and it ends right about there. So sometimes if I can put little marks where it begins and it ends, it's really helpful. And then I'm gonna try to draw a circle. It's a little bit more of an oval, I guess. I'm not getting this angle very good, there we go. And sometimes it's easier if you turn your page. I'm like, <laughs> and I also notice that at the top and at the bottom, there's this little, hmm, it's off to the side a little, this little nub. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, like that. It also has one opposite. Oh gosh. There we go. There's our shape that we can turn into a form. We have the lemon um, stem that comes out like this. and it's it's a little bit thicker and then the leaf ooh the leaf looks a little hard here to get the angle do your best with the leaf but do look at the do look at the reference photo okay um or it's, i guess it's an illustration so um it is there for your use. You should definitely use it as something to look at. And definitely get out your eraser. Okay. Okay, next leaf. 
next leaf I notice the middle goes this way and then it kind of goes behind I'm just going to erase this line in my sketchbook because I want, I'm okay with going over the line. So that's how I would start this drawing. I'm actually really happy about that. I do notice one more thing I want to put in and that is the little sections here. So first I'm just going to draw kind of where the rind meets the flesh of the fruit. I'm not sure the technical term of this. And then you could kind of draw in the sections. Let's see, there's one half, half a one, one, two, three, and another half. Okay. Something like that. So a good thing to do when you are drawing is to stop, step back, look at it, almost like look away. Don't, don't look at it. Look at, literally put your eyes on something else. Take a deep breath. You could stand up just to get a little bit of perspective. Um, and then when you look back on it, you can see, oh, maybe I need to correct this. This needs to be more rounded. Yeah, that really does need to be more rounded, okay? And that kind of thing. Um, some artists will do this. They'll get up. They'll go eat a meal. They'll um, maybe just sketch another thing and then come back and ink it um, if they want to keep working. So artists don't necessarily finish something from start to finish in one full setting. So you might want to think about that as you're drawing at home. After our break, um, making sure we're focused here. Um, I'm going to start with ink now uh, and I'm going to use, um, let's see, which one should I use here? You guys can ch actually choose which technique you use. Um, I'm going to use a lot of contour or maybe a little cross contour. Um, I'm going to use some hatching. Um, maybe some stippling as well. I know we kind of, that's kind of what we did on the avocado, but I think that will work really well for the lemon. But when you do your homework and you do your, what did I have for the homework? Lime? Is that what I had? Um, actually, I can't remember. Orange. I didn't, when you do your homework and you do your orange, you don't have to do one in particular, you could do whichever one you think is good to do for your orange. So um, make it your own, make it your own style. Okay. So I'm going to start with this um, fussy guy up front here. It's a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay. And right off the bat, I notice there is a dark line that I can put in right here. Like that. I can put in, and I don't have to do a full line. I can leave a little space between some of my lines. And that is a really nice technique or a really nice way to not feel, oops, I totally made a mistake there. That's okay. Um, like you don't have to have like a perfectly straight line. Your line can be dashed. Okay. And then this kind of goes like this. It's curved right there. This is curved right there. There's my little mess up, but that's okay. 
another little line here. So I'm narrating it, but you're just going to draw what you see. And if you make a mistake in here, oh well, it's still going to look like a lemon, right? People are going to know it's a lemon. And in fact, the less precious you are with it, the more that you're sketchy with your pen, the more that it's going to look like your own artwork. Okay. I do notice some just little kind of dots in here in the kind of like rind area. I'm just going to put in some dots. I'm going to wait for the super fussy detail in here. But I'm going to put some just contour lines up in here. Okay. I'm going to go to my lemon. Hello, lemon. I'm going to draw a nice outline. It's okay. It's totally okay to pick up your pencil or your pen while you do this. You don't have to do it all in one fell swoop. Okay. And instead of putting a line right there, I'm going to put some kind of dashes. So I'm going to just dash around the edge long, thin, maybe three kind of stacked up dashes, real sketchy, broken lines. I can kind of put some dashes up in here, dashes around the edges, a couple of, of layers of dashes. Just real light. I'm barely touching my um, pen to the paper. Just like it's kind of barely grazing it. And make the dashes, don't make them all the same size. You can add in some more. Just getting the kind of form of it. Okay, and um, I'm going to stop there for a minute and move on to the next little bit. I'm going to put in a pretty strong line here on the stem. Kind of fill that in with some more dashes. Again, a strong line here. I'm not going to do a a full line. I left a little space right there. And I'm going to do another line, but I'm going to leave some white space in between. Maybe leave my little dash up there. I'm going to outline it. So today we're drawing from a drawing or an illustration. Um, last time we were drawing kind of from our mind and kind of from, um, photographs. Um, but the next step is to draw from real life, from real life fruit and vegetables. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to put that line in, but let's put that in. I'm just doing a double, a double line on each one of them. Now I can really put in a lot more of the detail. Okay. So in the um, leaves, I actually noticed that there's a lot of heavy lines and there's some going down this way. And then a lot of them are going down this way. And 
again, they're different lengths. I mean, you can do it whatever looks good to you, but there's different um, spaces in between. Some are short, some are long. And then these kind of go this way. So this would be like the cross contouring or the cross hatching. They're not all long. Vary that line thickness. Vary the line width and length. Go line on top of line to get it darker. There, it's looking good. I can make this one a lot darker underneath since it's kind of underneath it. It's like under the shadows. Here. Okay. Doing the next one. So once you, when you put the pencil down first, um, pen and ink isn't as scary, at least not to me. It's still a little scary because you're using pen, you can't erase, but I didn't even erase the pencil underneath, so. Oh well, it'll give it some shade. <clears throat> okay, just gonna work my way down the form. You can see mine compared to the photograph or the illustration is not the same. And that's not really the goal. It's not the goal to be exactly the same. The goal is to be um, using it as inspiration. Now I'm going to make these little like U's, kind of like shallow U's, but I'm not going to make them perfect. I'm kind of go like this and maybe some of them I'll just be some little, little tiny, like little scribbles like that. All around the edge. Remember, try to make them irregular in their position. So a couple of them next to each other. We can go on top with some more shorter lines. It's almost time for you to stop and take a break and not look. Okay. Get some. Where, where you want it to be darker, you just add more lines. Okay, the real fussy part is in here, and I'm not going to pretend to do it exactly like the <laughs> drawing because it's pretty specific, but I am going to just have some little things that kind of go, they're almost like pieces on a butterfly wing. I don't know. I'm kind of wiggling my pen as I do this. So they're very imperfect.
Okay, looks okay to me. When this is fully dry, I think I will erase some of the the um, pencil just to get it um, get that pencil out of there. But I'm gonna wait maybe half a day just really get that ink dry because last time I erased too soon it was bad news. Just putting a little bit of texture on the edge here. Can put little dots, little dashes, little dots in here. That's your lemon, your cut and whole lemon right on the off the tree branch. Pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so you can keep working on this if this is something you're not done with. That's fine. Um, but you also want to work on. Um, Okay, my recording cut out, so I'm back. So you also want to work on your homework for today, and your homework is to draw a um, orange on this side. And if you don't have enough room right there because you drew so big like me, which is great, just go to a new page and just go to a, you know, go to a new page right here, something somewhere and you're going to draw an orange and that is um, the image of that is in canvas so let me take you there so here we are in canvas today we drew this lemon and your homework is to draw this orange so you'll see it there and you'll see that um, it has uh, scribbling it has cross contouring and it also has um, hatching uh, so you have lots of options there and don't forget to draw the shadow um, and remember you can draw it you could use stippling if you wanted you can draw whatever you want but um, we're not going to put in color yet we want it to fully fully dry and next um, next class I'll talk about the color so for now just draw with your pencil and your pen and ink and have that in your notebook ready to go for when we do add color and we do turn it in. All right, thanks guys, bye-bye.